Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct a 3D model of spray nozzle in Autodesk Inventor software. So let's get started with today's tutorial. Go to new, take a standard part in millimeter and go to create. Now take a 2D sketch and select the XY plane. Now first we will make a rough sketch. So go to line command. From this center point, make a straight line and then define the profile. So this is the rough profile till here. Straight this profile and join here. So this is complete a closed profile. Go to dimension. The total dimension of this will be 93.5 mm. Okay, now this profile of 18 mm and this top from this end at 58.4 mm and from bottom this distance will be 68.5 mm. Okay, now skip. Select this line and make it a construction uh, center line. So click here center line. Okay. Now go to dimension and select this line and this center line. So it will convert the dimension into diameter and give the diameter as 45. Now this diameter will be 30 and the bottom dia from this end will be okay so this is straight okay so from here the bottom dia will take 15.5 okay now this is fully defined sketch now go to 3d model select the revolve command so this will make a revolve profile and press ok now in this we will make this uh, polygon or the screw type structure so for this go to plane take offset plane select this top face and we will take a plane offset of minus 28 mm this plane will be down and ok now select this plane, go to create sketch. Here go to polygon command. From here select the polygon. And from this center point, make a polygon profile. Go to dimension. Here give this outer dimension as 34.75. Okay. Rotate it. Now Go to horizontal constraint or we will take vertical constraint. Select this point and drag it here. You will find a center point over here. Click on the center point. Now this is aligned. Go to 3D model. Go to extrude. In this, the extrude is going up, but we want this profile opposite side. So from here, click on direction 2 and the distance will be 20 mm and ok ok so this is the profile so, ok select this right click and turn off the visibility now we will cut the internal profiles go to view and from here we will cut the half section view of yz or so this profile first we will make the internal cut profile so from here select the yz plane go to create sketch and go to view visual style and change it to wireframe now go to sketch take the line command first make a center line so join this profile 
scape select this line make it a center line ok now go to line command once again make a line here first we will make a rough sketch so for rough sketch make this profile till here and one profile till here and one straight like this this and this and join here scale so this is just a rough profile first we will define the vertical dimensions so go to dimension from top this will be at 25 mm this profile will be 16 mm this lot of 2 mm and uh, this file of 30 mm and the next till this line is 17.5 ok and this angle here of 45 degree ok so we have first defined the vertical dimensions now we will go for the horizontal dimensions so this dia will be here of 16 this outer dia of 26 escape now drag this this side ok now go to dimension and this dia here will be of 5.7 this will be dia of 16 mm and uh, this last one this dia will be 9.5 mm ok so this will be the complete profile now go to 3d model select the revolve command ok this is the profile go to cut ok so this is cutting profile the red profile and ok now go to view visual style change it to shaded with edges you can see the cut profile inside so go to half section select half section view select the visored view ok so this is the half section view of this ok now from here go and uh, section view home now we'll make okay and this also now we will make this pipe profile so now go to 3d model we will construct a new plane so for new plane go to plane command go to offset from plane select xy plane and here we will take an offset of 35 mm and ok now select this plane go to create sketch and here take the circle command make a circle over here of 8.75 go to dimension from top this dimension will be 8 mm Go to vertical constraint, center point and select this center. Ok, now this is defined. Go to 3D model, extrude, flip the direction. From here you can take to next and ok. So this will be up to this profile. Now select this plane to right click and turn off the visibility. Now we want a whole profile over here, so select this face, go to create sketch, go to circle command, drag this cursor on this circle, so you will find a center point over here. From this center point, make a 6 degree, 6 diameter circle, go to 3D model, extrude, select this 6 dia and drag it inside, go to top view. So we will drag it till the center point 
and this will be FUT profile. Okay. Go to home. So this is the profile. Rotate this. And at bottom we will give the chamfer. So select here first. Go to chamfer. Take a 3 mm chamfer here. And the angle will be 45 degree. Apply. Change here to 2. And select this edge. Of 2 mm chamfer. And apply. Now go back to home. Now we will make the thread profile over here. For thread profile, select this face, go to create sketch, go to project geometry and project this outer circle. Finish. Now from here go to 3D sketch, select the helical coil, select this midpoint and select the side face and we will drag it down and the dia here will be of 30 this pitch will be of 2 and revolution of 12 ok and apply exit now you can see this profile is ending here and from top this will end here ok so exit from the sketch and select this sketch it turn out its visibility now go to plane select this top top sketch point and select this coil select this plane create sketch and here go to project geometry select this point rotate it and select this point ok so this is projected now go to polygon and here take three sides from this center point ok go to here select the vertical constraint select this point and select this point go to dimension and give this dimension as 1.5 ok now finish sketch, go to sweep, Pat, uh, profile is selected, select this path and go to cut and ok. So this is the thread, so, and go to plane 3, right click, turn off the visibility, rotate the view. Now assign the color from here, we will take the metal color metal 2400f hot and save it so this was a basic tutorial to how to construct a spray nozzle in autodesk inventor software i hope you like the video if you do that please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you